Happy Tuba Shvat. Just turned Tuba Shvat. It's nighttime now and I'm off to a Tuba Shvat Seder, which I've done one at home before and I've never actually like been to an organized one. So I'm heading over to Baka, which is a little bit of a walk away. I don't know if I'm gonna walk or take the bus yet. Uh, let's head out and see how it goes. So I decided to take the bus, even though I usually get pretty car sick, so hopefully I won't get sick on the way, but um, it's really cold and it was like a 40 minute walk. Anyway, I don't think this came out properly earlier, but I'm going to this particular Seder. I had, I was speaking between two different ones and I chose this one because it's going to be led by Rabbi Breidowitz, who I really love. <laughs> Sorry, the phone, the phone just fell. Um, who I really love learning with. So Rabbi Breidowitz is leading the Seder. So I got off the bus like a stop early because I was a little bit too early and I was getting car sick, so I figured I would walk the rest of the way. Hope it's not awkward. So I always wonder when I'm like going to things by myself, especially like hoping it's not going to be awkward and you know, like sparse and stuff. I don't think it'll be like that, but um, I don't know. You just kind of think that when you show up to these things on your own. So I hope it'll be, uh, I'll hope it'll be fun. To the shots if our initial sin was rebelliousness by eating, the ultimate tikkun is not don't eat. The ultimate tikkun is yes, eat, and in that way be misakain the ultimate sin of humanity. <laughs> separately. So that was really fun. Rabbi Brightus was really awesome as always. Okay, I got home. It was like a 40 minute walk. I was a little bit winded. Going uphill after a few glasses of wine. I you, you have four glasses of wine for the Seder, but one of them I cheated and I did grape juice, but a little flustered still from that. Um, but anyway, it was really nice. Learned something really interesting about how Tu Bishvat, among other things, that it marks basically like up until Tu Bishvat, your being spiritually nourished from the Geshem, so to speak, from the previous year. Basically any brachas, like any sort of um, like divine blessings that you got from the previous year, you're still being nourished by that spiritually up until Tu Bishvat. And on the day of Tu Bishvat and thereafter, you're getting the brachas of the new year. So basically whatever was sort of signed and sealed at the end of the Chagim of this year for 5784, you're now getting that Geshem, so to speak, spiritually, um, starting from Tibish So I thought that was a really cool insight. Um, and hopefully that means good things. But I got some actually really, really good news today, and I'm not gonna share it now, but uh, I think I can kind of feel that like positive flow already happening. Very successful evening. The only thing is that there was no like I'm pretty sure there was no barley there and I definitely wanted to have like at least all the seven species. My preference would have been to have like the full 30 fruit, um, more like Kabbalistic, like full blown Seder. I'll do that maybe next year, Bizrat Hashem. But um, this year it was just kind of like, it was less coordinated, I guess. Like everyone kind of just ate a little bit on their own at certain points and it was like not super duper synchronized. But um, yeah, I didn't see any barley. so. I'm going to eat that tomorrow for breakfast and then I'll have my complete, um, at least for like the seven species, I'll have them covered. And um, what else? I don't know, I guess it was just a nice night and this is the kind of thing that I just love to do. Like I love going to activities like this and it's one of the best, best, best reasons of living in Eretz Israel. Just having access to events and programs like this that are just right down your street or just, you know, so many to pick from. Like there were a bunch of different Tupi Shvat Seders happening tonight and it's just so cool that I can partake in all this. And uh, yeah, so it was a nice night and I'm going to carry this positive energy with me throughout tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a really awesome Tupi Shvat and I'll see you guys later. Shalom Aleichem.